Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to find the greatest common factor. Uh, technically, these are monomials, but they contain variables and exponents. Okay, so first we're going to find the GCF of the coefficient. Then we're going to find the variables that are the same. Then we're going to find the lowest exponent of the common variables and then multiply it steps two and three together. This is not factoring, but remember, if you factor, it is a portion of factoring. So let's get started. Okay, step one, we need to find the greatest common factor of these two coefficients, 12 and 48. I personally, I just like to use a factor tree. There's other ways you can do it. So um, let's get started with a factor tree. I have just always enjoyed a factor tree, and there's different ways you can find the greatest common factor. So I'm going to write all the prime numbers in a box and so here we go we're going to write two 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 three and then for the 12 we're going to write two two and i'm going to skip and write this three here and the rule is for the greatest common factor remember that's the largest number that goes into both of these without a remainder is uh, you have to have two of the same in the column so we have a two a two and a three then you just multiply them two times two is four times 3 is 12. So we have step 1 completed. It is 12. Okay, remember we're not factoring, we're just finding the greatest common factor. Now we look for variables that are the same. We have an A and an A, but we don't have a B. And now we just go with the lowest exponent, this to the first power. So there is the greatest common factor of 48A and 12A cubed B. Let's work another example. Okay, so now we're going to find the greatest common factor of 24x cubed y squared, 8x to the fifth y. I've already done a factor tree for this, uh, so I'm going to write 2, 2, 2, and then we have 2, 2, 2, and 3. Remember, you must have 2 in the columns to bring it down, so 2, 2, 2, and so when you multiply this together, it is 8. I know some of you can glance and see that 8 is the greatest common factor, but I just wanted to show you how you do that if you're doing a factor tree. So now we have step 1, which is we have the greatest common factor of the coefficients, 8. Now let's look for common variables. We have x and x, and we have y and y, okay? So we're multiplying these together. And then let's look for the lowest. X is to the third. And the Y, the lowest, is to the first. So there would be the greatest common factor. In summary, we found the greatest common factor of the coefficients. We looked for common variables. X, X, Y, Y. And then we went with the lowest uh, exponent, which is 1 and 3. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.